access about living to be 125. Scientists across the country has found one of the genetic keys to stuff that's in red wine and potentially slow down aging itself. That resveratrol chemical, which is in red wine, when it's concentrated to this dose in laboratory animals, prolongs life expectancy. Other studies showed that among mice fed a high fat diet, those given resveratrol didn't gain as much weight as those not given the drug. So what does it do in the body? Well, what we have discovered is that resveratrol works on a gene which is called SIRT1, and this is a gene that controls the aging process. Resveratrol seeks out that gene and switches it on. 17 years ago, 60 Minutes first examined the so-called French paradox which suggested that the French, despite a high-fat diet and high consumption of wine, had a remarkably low incidence of heart disease compared with Americans. Most researchers agreed that there was something in the wine that offered protection. And a few years later, even the highly cautious federal dietary guidelines say that moderate consumption of red wine can be beneficial. Now scientists across the country have identified a substance in red wine called resveratrol, that they believe might do more than just protect the heart, but could, in very high concentrations, significantly extend life by preventing a number of age-related illnesses. If the promise holds true, I think this has the chance to change health care. What you're suggesting is there's some kind of rejuvenation drug that turns a 70-year-old into a 35-year-old. That might be pretty hard to do. But I think if we're on a train heading one direction, we can slow down that train. I think we can slow down uh, these genes that control the aging process. What we're talking about is activating the body's natural genetic defenses against diseases. And that's very powerful if we can harness that. Resveratrol has been tested on mice and the results have been encouraging. In this test video provided by Sertris, both of the mice have been fed a high fat diet for 12 weeks. But when placed on a treadmill, the mouse on the right ran twice as far. He was taking high concentrations of resveratrol. You have fat mice and you have fat mice with resveratrol. And the ones that are on resveratrol, they can run twice as far and they live longer, about 20% longer. Resveratrol has caught the attention of prominent scientists everywhere, including PhDs at Harvard Medical School. Dr. David Sinclair of Harvard Medical School recently published his discovery that resveratrol allowed mice to live 30% longer, prevented them from becoming overweight, improved their motor function, and also protected them from diabetes. This study was so groundbreaking that it was published in Nature, the world's most respected leading scientific journal. Resveratrol is turning out to be one of the most revolutionary breakthroughs in modern science. In addition to Dr. Sinclair's findings, Resveratrol has also been demonstrated to help prevent the risk of heart disease and stroke, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, certain types of cancer, and has also been shown to increase exercise endurance. Writes David Stipp in Fortune magazine, you'd have to go back to the advent of antibiotics to find such a broad therapeutic potential. Resveratrol is found in the skin of red grapes and can most commonly be found in red wine. One glass of red wine contains a mere half milligram of resveratrol.